Hey fellow YouTubers and Star Wars fans, this is Samurai Man 691 and today I'm going to be doing something very weird. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing some comic books, but not just any comic books. These are Marvel Comics Star Wars comic books. Um, before Dark Horse acquired the rights to uh, Star Wars, Marvel was the first Star Wars, uh, first comic book company to have the expanded universe. So. Uh, while the while you were waiting for the other movies to come out, you had comic books. And I was going through these, I had these in a box for a while, and I noticed something very weird. I was going to give these up to a friend of mine, he's a, he's a Star Wars collector himself, and I remember reading this particular comic right here. And uh, what's funny is that for, the, for, for those Star Wars uh, guys that, you know, that were around when I was around in the 70s and 80s, uh, Jabba the Hutt was mentioned in the first Star Wars movies, uh, Star Wars and The Empire Strikes Back, but we never really saw Jabba the Hutt until Return of the Jedi. And um, when Marvel Comics did Star Wars, they pretty much had free reign to do whatever they wanted except kill off characters, so um, the Lucas people never had any, they didn't really have any say so in Marvel Comics, so they pretty much did what they wanted. And um, as I was looking through this particular one, I noticed something very really weird that I, I, I must have read this one like five times and never really caught on to it. But um, for those of you who've never really seen Jabba the Hutt before, there is Marvel Comics version of Jabba the Hutt, which is I gotta say <laughs> better good looking than the slug that we're all used to. That was Jabba the Hutt because in the expanded universe, Han Solo and Chewbacca needed to run away from somebody, so they ran away from Jabba. And Jabba was right there. As you can see, he's got hands and he's got two feet. So he's more like a humanoid, you know. Then I was passing through the page here, let me get to the end of it. And um, here's a picture of Jabba in a spacesuit. He's cursing Han Solo and, uh, and Chewbacca. <laughs> and Han Solo just cracking up. <laughs> and Chewbacca too. But anyway, there's Jabba. And now why does Jabba look like this? Well, you gotta understand, the writers and the comic book artists, they never got to see the original Jabba. So, this is what, this is their interpretation of Jabba would have looked like had he been in the comic book. Uh, I'm not, I don't quote me on it, but this is only the first time I've ever seen him in this comic book. I have never seen Jabba in any other comic book other than this one. I could be wrong, this is number 28. So,. It might have made his first appearance in this one, but it is his first appearance in the Expanded Universe before Dark Horse acquired the rights to it. And, uh, it's very interesting. The artwork is pretty good. It reminds me of manga a little bit because of the way they... Look at Chewbacca. Chewbacca looks like a throwback from the 70s. <laughs> it doesn't really look like the movie Chewbacca. But, you know, point was across, so... Everything was cool, so... <laughs> Weird. But these are very good comics. They're very fun to read. The great artwork. I mean, fantastic. I only have a few. Uh, look at this one. <laughs> a green rabbit and an old man with a lightsaber. Interesting. Very interesting. And then I found this one in, in one of my boxes. And um, I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but this thing is really, really... The water must have went through this for years because if, I haven't seen this in a while. And... It was in a box and it was stuck to the bottom of the box, so I tried not to yank it out, but I think I might have ripped it a bit. It's got water damage, and it's a pretty big, thick issue. Pretty big. It's got like 144 pages if you call, if you count them back to back. So pretty weird. Um, but they're good stories. I mean, before we had DVDs and VCRs and all that stuff, if you wanted to see Star Wars, you had to read the comic book. I really like it. It's pretty fun. Here's Darth Vader and a guy with yellow boots and a pink suit. And we don't want to get to that. <laughs> but yeah, Jabba the Hutt. What a guy. One more time for you, just in case y'all missed it. Let me get in there. And there's Jabba the Hutt. Hey, Jabba. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And thank you for you, all you guys for subscribing to my channel. Uh, it gets me motivated to keep on going. Um, Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll see you guys later. And may the Force be with you.